<laughs> Holy, that is bad lighting all around. Say, say, say something, giving. Lighting so horrible. Okay. Um, that's worse. Hold on. I'm sorry about the lighting.
There's one person. Okay, I'm scared. This is... <sighs> What's up, everybody? Um... I would just like to say that I am on my YouTube channel go on live. So if you would like to come over and join me and ask me any questions that you would like answers to or get to know me better, because I would love to get to know you better. Obviously, I don't have enough followers yet on TikTok to go live yet, but that's not going to bother me at all, because I would love to still get to know my TikTok fam and Obviously, my YouTube fam is starting to grow. So, yeah, just come on over. Um, my YouTube channel will be right here. And I know, I know, you don't have to tell me. I need to link that in my bio soon. So, see you soon.
just sent out my TikTok, so hopefully, and yeah. Do, do, do. So don't get overwhelmed, do you make it mad, do 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 do. Right. Two people! <laughs> What's up? How is everyone? Okay, the link on my Twitter still works. Oh, what's up? <laughs> yes, I'm a real person. No, it's not a recording. This is live. Hello. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> Is there any questions you guys want to ask me or I start my YouTube channel I I started it's still new to me so I would have to say I started my YouTube channel last I would say 2019 February so it's still fairly new but yeah I'm enjoying it I don't know. I think I think it may be because people are just starting to find it and also I don't do a really good job at promoting it. <laughs> I need to get better at it. So I 
Um, I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel, and I decided to do it recently because I've had the, you know, we have this time, and I was like, I'd rather do it before I can't do it no more because I originally wanted to start my YouTube I was like, or thought about making one in middle school, but I wasn't in the correct mindset to do it. So I waited until I was in a proper one. And now I'm in a really good space and yeah. <laughs> I guess we I guess I should. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. Yeah, you. As long as it's something you're passionate about, pursue it. For sure. It doesn't mi limit age at all. You're so right. So sorry. It's really like, yeah, some people are just, but yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Also, if I'm being honest, it's not, my life isn't super exciting, super exciting, but I am, 
I am happy that I get to share um, my creativity with everybody, and I'm new, I'm learning something new every day, and yeah, basically to just get better at what you're passionate about is to practice your skills and improve your skills, and you can always learn from others as well, and. Yeah, some people, some people are just hard to deal with, and some people are toxic. Some people are here for the, like some people are here for a season. Some people are here for a lesson, and some people are here to stay in our lives forever. So it's just a matter of figuring out who's here for the long run and yeah and I and you are so strong to leave at that age like Like, you are so strong and everything for just moving out on that age and getting started with your life. Like, I give credits to you. Like, that's a, even, like, ugh, I'm sorry, I can't speak sometimes. It, that just shows how strong you are and how capable you are to just start something that you're passionate about and start something new and know what and know your worth like creds to you also I apologize for the lighting it's not the best in the world Thank you so much. And I'm so happy that you have a support system that are there for you. Like that makes me happy. And thank you so much for like calling me a good person. Like <laughs> And we need support, even though sometimes, even sometimes when we're really being strong or stubborn about something, we need support from people that we know we can trust. And you got that. And I'm so happy for you. Since 
That's amazing. Like, life is just going your way, and I'm so excited. Like, that's amazing. That's really a good accomplishment. But I will say something about teachers. They take their they take their time on sending you your your stuff. Like this year I finally graduated with my associate's degree and I'm currently waiting on that to get to me from my college. So I know how that feels. Good job, like. I am so proud of you. Even though I don't know you, like, I'm so proud of you that you got everything done. No, actually. Actually, I've been um, at my community college since I was a freshman, a freshman in college. I graduated high school back in 2015, and once I graduated, I went into a community college, and I just graduated this year of 2020, and I'm waiting for my college associate's degree. But I don't know, the university, so. I'm just waiting for my college associate's degree if it will ever come, because they're taking their sweet old time. But I get it, too, because, like, there's a whole bunch of other people that probably graduated in 2020 college um, from my community college, so I understand if there's a lot of, like, printing and, like, putting it in its case and packaging it off in the mail. But yeah, hopefully I get it soon, but just waiting on that. And I was, I don't know if any of my subscribers or any people who come up across my page, my YouTube channel page or TikTok page for that matter, but I was doing school plus social media at the same time, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I like to keep busy anyway, so I love social media for that. But I will say like, yeah, <laughs> social media in my life has really, has really been one of my best friends. Hi. 
because like music and friends that I can trust and YouTube has they were like my my glue through high school those three components were just my glue and I love it Um, after I get it, um, I'm leaning toward, I would say I'm leaning toward a beauty school that I actually set up a tour for February. So I get to see all the beauty school stuff since I do a lot of makeup on my channel and body paint. Um, so I'm excited for that. And then, and then potentially either either beauty school or potentially a vet technician which is working with animals and I love animals um what's my star sign I am a Scorpio I was born November 12th so I'm a Scorpio <laughs> um Oh, I am the same way. Like, I'm all about, like, I love meeting new people and just getting to know them and stuff. Like, and I know the struggle of, like, not forcing people into, into your friendships because it's, like, to me, it just feels weird. It's, like, I want to be friends with you, but... I don't want to make you and like, I totally understand that. And same with relationships. Like, I don't want to force anybody to be in a relationship with me if they don't want to. Like, I feel like if you do force someone into a relationship, it's kind of like, what's the point? Of, if you don't know. Scope X. Scorp Ascendant. <laughs> but yeah. I totally understand that feeling. And you're a Taurus? That's awesome. My sis, one of my older sisters is a Taurus too. So, <laughs> Taurus the Bull. I mean, that would be, yeah, I, I love the crap out of animals. I literally, literally with my family right now, we have literally three, three cats and I have a calico cat. We have a black cat named, Sh calico cat named Sassy, black cat named Shadow, and my sister cat, which is just a striped cat, her name is Cora, and now we have a new puppy. So, hands full with that. But I love it. I love taking care of animals. I love seeing animals. Like, literally, if I even if I walk past my cats, I have to. I can't walk by them without at least giving them a pet. That's literally me on the street too. It's like if I see a cute dog. And like the people, like obviously I don't want to force like anyone for me to pet their dog or animal that they're taking on a walk. But it's like the tendency to touch or just give them a quick hi or pet. Like, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it would be cool if I could open, teach people how to do their makeup and Maybe body paint, that would be cool too. And hi, hi. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. But I think you're really pretty too. I I literally put makeup on today. I had no makeup on yesterday. 
um, yesterday. Hi. Um, what about spiders? <laughs> spiders, like, I have, I don't mind like little spiders, like gentle spiders, like daddy long legs are fine. I always feel bad for them when I have to kill a daddy long leg because they do nothing but chill. But like, if it is a, like a big scary spider or like a tarantula, I can't. Literally, uh, what was it? It was like yesterday ago, a creepy spider was crawling and I asked my sister to get it. And she doesn't like spiders either, more so than me. And she kept trying to kill it and pick it up. And then she finally screamed at me to get it and kill it. And it eventually happened. We got an <laughs> That's amazing. Like, literally, our sis, like, our history of animals. There was a there was a point where my sister bought two parakeets, so we have birds at one point. But she eventually gave them away. But yeah, I love animals so much. <laughs> like my basically, when I get older or when I have like my own place, my dream dog to have is a husky. Like I just want a husky. Don't know why, just do. Gotcha, yeah. YouTube, YouTube I think is a good platform and TikTok as well. I think that social media apps can be a really good place to connect with people and get to know someone. <laughs> okay, you can invite your friends. You can watch this with friends or by yourself, whatever fits your fancy. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Yeah, like when I even what's even crazier is before I even made my channel, I had um, I was using my phone and I started filming little vlogs on my phone. And I was just filming my makeup and stuff, just day randomly with my phone before I even created my channel, so. It's okay, you can always, you can always catch up. Like those videos will always be there and like, it's totally okay. You can always catch up. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I only have Pennywise's wig. Well, technically it's not Pennywise's wig. Um, I went with my sister and her friend and they suggested that we buy this old, it's an old man wig actually, it's, it's, you know, it's a receding hairline old man professor wig. I sprayed with um, spray on Halloween hair dye on it to make it red. And I used hairspray and I made it fluffy with a comb, which I don't know where it is, but yeah. Yeah, I did Venom too. Venom was really fun to do. Hi, hi friends. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can you can create whatever you want, like with whether it's eyeshadow or 
body paint. It's totally up to you what you want to use, but yeah, you can use it on your face. Obviously, I go down to my chest for some characters. <laughs> yeah. Hi, friends. Oh, no, my, my hair is so long, but I'm getting a haircut soon. <laughs> Hi. You, I have to teach you? Oh, that's so cool that you're half Japanese and half Korean. I have a friend who's, um, she lives in Texas now, but she's Vietnam, Vietnamese and she's really talented at drawing. I miss her. I miss you. What do I have to teach you? Uh, all right, so it's all about dressing up and being, yes, and becoming a certain character. That's awesome. Like, I swear, like, I, um, I fell in love with cosplay on my, what I do on TikTok. I need to get back into cosplay, but I, I, I miss it. I think I always known I would have fa fallen in love with cosplay because like during Halloween season, I have this memory of like in my backyard and I was dressed up as a black cat and I was just hanging on the monkey bars. Hi. Hey, no, politi no politics here. I to learn from oh, th thank you. Oh, you like my voice? Thanks. <laughs> sometimes sometimes I talk really fast so it I can't speak the words I wanna speak, but you wanna wear glasses? I I literally have worn glasses all my life, so I, I can see without them, but they do help. <laughs> That's so cool. So many cultures. Nicholas. <laughs> yeah, I think that's because every everybody's slowly finding my page. That's why. I'm tr No! I'm trending? That's crazy. Oh my gosh. That's crazy! Hi! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy that I'm trending. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's cool. Oh my gosh. You guys did not have to subscribe, but thank you so much. You did not ha I don't want to force anybody to subscribe to me if they don't want to, you know, but thank you so much. Oh my God. Ooh. So amazing. Can I speak different languages? I know a little. I know um, a little bit of Spanish. Spanish, more like a sentence, really, because, and I know some of numbers. So, so the sentence I know in Spanish is really. Let's see if I can remember it. Hola, me amo, Hannah. Krenzaleski. That's really it. Is I just know how to say hello in my name. You speak seven? That's amazing. That's a talent. Like, 
Yeah, I don't speak many languages. Oh, I, I'm lucky to find you guys. Like, for just clicking on my page and finding it. Like, I'm lucky to have you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. On YouTube, just need some momentum. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I did it. Oh, thank you. What is what is my job? Well, obviously my job is doing creating creating YouTube videos and TikToks and stuff like that to make you guys smile and hopefully get you guys creating and doing your own stuff but if we're talking like job in the real job job I just I just got an interview um so hopefully hopefully that goes good so I can like upgrade my characters on TikTok and like get some more materials to do some more to do some more crazy looks for my YouTube channel That's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Like speaking on your, I'm sure it's really beneficial when you like know other languages because you could travel to places and understand what the people are saying to you. Like, I'm sure you get along better. <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> yeah, like I always hear like like stories from people who have like dating apps, but like I don't I don't have any dating apps on my phone at all. So personally, I would rather meet the person, you know, face to face than like I don't know, online. I don't know. I think as long as I see their face, like, I don't know. I just never had any dating apps at all. <laughs> That's fine. You can speak two languages. Yeah, you, YouTube is actually really fun, like meeting people and just in general just making content and I think the best part about ha making a channel or just having a channel in general is just connecting with people and being passionate about the craft you're doing on your channel whatever that may be Wow, that's amazing. That's a lot of languages. It looks like you're in a dorm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, ro my room that I usually do all my videos in, like, we're, re we're painting it, so all of that going on, so I'm just... I'm just sleeping in my basement right now, so. <laughs> but yeah, I plan on making some more content while this is going on, but. But yeah, making content is, at the moment, it's, it's hard. It's gonna be harder, but it's not impossible. But yeah, I love making the makeup content that I do. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. It's 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 a Michigan accent. I don't know if I if it sounds like I have an accent though. Maybe I do. But yeah. 
You want to see how long my hair actually is? It's getting so long. Don't mind the poofiness of it. <laughs> it's coming out of a ponytail. But it is... It is so long. So I'm getting a haircut soon because it's so long. But... What? I have, oh my, I have 20 subs right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's amazing. Like, you guys do not have to sub if you don't want to. Like, I don't want to force anyone to. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. And you guys are so amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> I'm a cool kid now. <laughs> yes. How amazing. <laughs> but yeah, like, I just create content that I'm passionate about and hope that, like, it makes you guys smile and feel good and feel creative and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, fem female power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, life is a given. It's three it's three AM where you are? That's crazy. That's the spooky hour. The or the witching hour. Spooky spooky. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's definitely a TikTok thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. Um My gosh, do we have people like <laughs> No, you don't have to don't feel left out. It's Austin Powers. I don't know, is Austin Powers like a movie, TV show? Or Actor, actress, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a movie. Okay, gotcha. I think I know what Austin Powers is. It just has been a long time. You want, oh, you want to move to the like the US, US states. Oh my gosh. Oh, you linked it to group chat. Oh. Cultured. Ah, 90s, 90s. Gotcha. Yeah, that's probably why I haven't seen, like, 
a lot of nineties movies in a while, so England? Is England cold now? It, it's like there are a lot of snow. Ah, yeah. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> it's freezing. It's cold here, too. Like, I'm over here in, like, Michigan, surrounded by, like, the Great Lakes, and it's cold, like. Don't get me wrong. I love Michigan, but, like. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, not a big fan of winter. Like, there's a point where I'm just sick of the snow, I'm sick of the cold, and I just want spring and summer and warm weather again. Old Broadway, New York, theater. Gotcha. Theater, theater. Don't do drugs, kids. I don't know if you can hear the music or the song right now. <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah. I would love to, like, I don't know. I want to travel soon at some point. Oh, Japan. Ah, uh, Oxford. Every time I hear of Oxford now, it just makes me think of the great Gatsby. You're an Oxford man. Yeah, the guy in the pink suit goes to Oxford. For goodness sakes. <laughs> But I'm sure Oxford is a good school. I don't know what my hair wants to do right now. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. I mean, with your, if you could be a crackhead with your friends, like, those are good friends. <laughs> those are good friends. I don't know what I'm trying to do. But, yeah, if you could be your crackhead self around your friends, those are good friends. Ah, gotcha. The big schools. Born in L.A. That's cool. Do I meditate? I, um, not really. Like, I, I try to, or I did before with, like, I had, like, a little meditation app, but maybe I should get more into it because I don't really meditate but maybe I should yeah very cool very far away places like that's amazing my Christian I was I was brought up Catholic but I, you know what you believe in is what you believe in, so.
That's amazing. Like, just staying friends for that long, like, that's amazing. I think he's amazing. I think Jesus did an amazing thing of like everything. I also had to, um, I, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say, but um, I had to go to, like, not only public school. Every, I, My two older sisters went to Catholic school, and I went to public school, so I went pu public school, and then every Monday from eighth grade, yeah, eighth grade, I stopped. It's the age you stop, but it was like a little... It was a little Catholic, re religious kind of um, class that I had to do. Do I believe? Yeah, I mean that's what we're told. I I don't know the deepness of religion or what I can remember of it, but. Yeah, I, th I, I don't think we should talk about, okay, we'll stop about religion and politics. Any other questions besides, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is Krenzy, is Krenz my real name? Krenz is actually an abbreviation of my last name. So my last name is Polish and it's it's really long. And so Krenz is like an abbreviated version of it. Uh. But yeah, like my last name is Polish and it my Mom actually, like, the way she taught us how to say our last name and spell it for other people is, like, through a song. So, K-R-E-N-S-E-L-E-W-S-K-Y-K-I. -S -E -S -E <laughs> but, yeah. Krenz is just an abbreviated thing. What's my favorite type of food? Oh, my gosh. Um... I would say, on average, like, obviously, like, meat's good. Like, we have our little, our little fangs. But I, I don't know. I go towards, like, pasta and, like, pizza and stuff like that more. If we're talking favorite food, I would say I go towards that. <laughs> I do that too. Like in, um, if I'm in someone's tic TikTok live, like I'll start to type something, and then I'm like, mm, never mind. So that's that's normal. Well, give him time. He'll learn English. I I mean, to be honest, I don't know if. My most Americans are good at English, <laughs> including myself sometimes. 
Do I speak Polish? I know a few Polish words just because, like, I know a, a little bit, like, if I can remember. Jaja is grandpa, and, I, and bougie is grandma. I know those because I had to do a, a project back in high school. I had to do a project, and I chose... Polish. My dad's like, my dad's side of the family is Polish. Yep. The ski. <laughs> the ski is always the way. Pizza? You pizza? What? Pizza is delicious. It just depends upon where you get it from. That matters. <laughs> this is so bad. Can I do a TikTok dance? I will try my best. Yeah, I would say you don't want to eat pizza and pasta all the time, but I'm just saying, like, like, Pizza is okay to eat sometimes. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, we all. I'm trying. What? What? I need to. I need to. I will say one TikTok dance I know is just because, like, I've, I had to do it a lot of times, so we'll try this one. I don't know. I don't, you're not going to be able to see my legs, but. It hasn't hit the parts yet. That was pretty bad. <laughs> but it also came up really quick, too. <laughs> that was not the best. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try that again. Hold on. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. Probably not my legs. I can't do the pants part real well because of the pants I'm wearing. If I was wearing like sweatpants, it would probably work better. trying to think what took Pennywise so long. I don't know. Actually, don't remember how, how long. <laughs> um, it was cute. Thank you. 
I did try. Literally every TikTok dance, I want to try. Ooh. What is That's weird lighting. But yeah, every TikTok dance I want to do, I practice. And I practice and I try and do my best. Literally that song, I swear, it took it took seven at least seven tries to get the one that I liked. And yeah. There's definitely other dances that I saved that I want to try and do. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I should, um, today I used, let's see if I can remember by memory. Today I used um, Jeffree Star's um, Jawbreaker. So I have, oh, you can't see in this light. I'm going to get real close for a second. Don't freak out. So in here, this light blue, blue kind of teal color you see, that's the shade Q in the Jawbreaker palette. It's called Q. And then on here, I just, on my lid, I just used same palette. I used Snack and I used Jawbreaker. That's what I use to create this look. My look today. <laughs> Suspicious. Yeah, it is a wonderful palette. There's a whole bunch of like bright colors in it. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of mixed feelings about, um, I feel like just in general, you can't a person who they are based on their past because in the moment right now, everybody's like trying to be the best version they can be from their past self. And obviously everybody learns from what they have done. James Charles is good too. I think he's a really good makeup artist as well. I have his James Charles palette and those colors are really popping too. Is there any particular song you guys want to listen to? Any requests? Do I sing? Yeah. Yeah, I've been, um, 
I've been writing my own songs for a long time now. I don't have, but yeah, I sing a little bit. I have a playlist that comes up. <laughs> I don't know what I never heard before, but I'm just going to let it play. Your sleep, I stole your sleep from you. Get some sleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Do you guys have any other questions? Yeah. Yeah, we all have a thing. Oh, how did I get into makeup? Um, I think I'm trying to think cuz I started when I first started with makeup, I I didn't I didn't have any makeup on my own. I had to borrow my mom's, so I was like I first off wearing foundation and then I got into eyeliner and then slowly into everything else. So, and I think I started in makeup when I was like, I was in high school still. So maybe, I want to say 16. I don't know for positive though. Oh, when is my next live? Um, I'm not sure yet, but I I have ideas. The most scariest moment. Most scariest moment. I would. If we're talking, I'm trying to think scariest, scariest. Are you talking like. Paranormal wise, or oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, uh, when I was younger, like in high school, 
high school with my older sister was in a grade ahead of me ahead of me and her friend we would we would drive to school together and back home and one day back home she had a really big van car so we were we were driving down like the street we're always going down like we were leaving the school and then all this everybody stopped and we got in a car accident and it was literally a car in front of us us in the middle and then a car behind us and wear your seat be- wear your seat belts in your cars cuz that that's what saved me cuz i jolted forward but luckily the seat belt grabbed me so i didn't fly forward and but her my sister's friend her, he wasn't wearing a seatbelt so he flew forward and he bumped into the back of the chair and he got a bloody nose and automatically i reached the closest thing i could which was like a blanket or a towel or something that was just on the floor of the car and i gave it to him to help with the bloody nose So came out stronger. I would say my whole experience in general in high school made me stronger because like it was just a rough ride and I figured out who my friends were and who believed in me and I became, it took a little while, but that's what became and I'm thankful for that. Yes, I have two older sisters, so I am the youngest of my siblings. I have two older sisters. Did I... Yeah. Cry? No. No, we weren't. I would, I would say so. My my oldest sister, she has a uh, really dark toned hair, and my sister has a little bit of hair. But yeah, I would say we look similar. A lot of my older sister's friends say I look like her, and my sisters my sister's friends say I look like her. So. Kind of like a mixture, I guess you can say. But yeah, in appearance, I would say we look similar. Mixture. Yeah, yeah. Seven siblings? That's a lot. 
my my dad is actually one of seven siblings, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. Three siblings. It's cool. I'm the second nice. Yeah, I'm just the youngest. I'm the baby. But it's all okay. It's all good. Um, I don't know. Have to see. Have to see. I don't know about that. But. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, we we get along, obviously. Siblings. Siblings get along. And sometimes there's little fights here and there, but nothing crazy. But Yeah, sweet. <laughs> Yay! Second youngest. It's cool. Yeah, that's London time, right? Yeah, Michigan time, it's only 10.36 right now. Am I heavily into astrology? I, I honestly think astrology is really, really cool. I even... I even took an like an astrology class and it it was it was quite an experience and actually a little bit hard to do like I give people who read the stars and constellations and like that like I give you creds because with that class like it was a cool experience but it was a lot of work it it was like hard because like I had to if I can remember, oh, you had to like take a point of a star and like draw a line and then connect, base, connect or make a picture or something. I don't really remember, but I think astrology is really cool. And just space in general. I like space. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Gotcha. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it sounds like astronomy. It was definitely more astronomy, I think. I, I did it, like, a long time ago, so. I still had the book, though. It's a thick boy. It's a thick book. Um, I just graduated college in 2020, and I'm waiting for my 
associates <laughs> associates degree to come in the mail. Is time travel possible? <laughs> I guess t time travel. It would be interesting, wouldn't it, if we could just all tra time travel somewhere? But, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was a thick book. That's that's the thing. Like I I took a lot of different classes, so Did I have a major? Yeah. There was a point where my major was exercise science, where I was able to take classes of how to, um, one of my favorite classes was to like learn how to wrap up and take care of sports injuries and stuff like that. So that was a major I had at one point, but yeah. <laughs> stay away. I think I'll stay, let's see. Fitness, a little bit, I like to, I haven't been lately, but yeah, I like to have, I like the mental benefits of exercise. So the physical aspects are really good too. Like when I first started TikTok, I was doing two um, wellness classes in my co when I was still in college, I was still, I was doing two wellnesses. So, yeah. <laughs> but I save, I saved all my, um, all the workouts. So in case I want to do them, I can still do them. And I like to run. I've always liked running because I could, like, help me think better, <laughs> in a sense, I guess. I want to say you would have a, a higher chance of flipping a coin a hundred times because at some point you're going to get the, the side you want. No, I'm not in any discords. How's your end? Well, it's all, well, I think it's just like sometimes it's good to take breaks. So in between each set or however rounds you do 
it's good to have like at least a 10 minute or 20 minute break before moving on to a set. Another exercise or the same exercise because you don't want to wear yourself out. You don't want to go until you break. You want to listen to your body and go and push as far as you can, but listen to your body and be like, stop when you need to stop. And also I like to listen to music when I work out. So that helps with focus as well. But exercise can be walking, it could be running, it could be lifting weights, it could be, it could literally be anything. Maybe. It looks like two times, though. Maybe ten. I don't know, I was just reading it. I see. I see. Yeah, for sure. Like it can get busy in college, though. So. Yeah, they're always going to be there, so. Oh, I appreciate that. And I want to get to know you guys better. That's why I want to do these lives and stuff, everything. Ten minutes before four. <laughs> right. Okay, what do you guys think? Should I stay on for... It's almost 11 here. It's 1048 right now. Should I stay on for a little bit longer to 11 or should I... Should we... Okay. It's, it's 10.48 right now, my time, so I think I'm going to call it here. I would just like to say thank you guys for an amazing live stream. This, is, this was my first one, and it was so amazing to see every single one of you in the chat room and, like, just – just the positive vibes and just all the cultures and everything, getting to know everybody. And you're all beautiful. You're all gorgeous. You're all motherfucking talented. And I will see you all soon. <laughs>